thanks for coming to watch. This is for you. And the goal of this video is to make your typing experience better. Now, I'm not a big typer, but I'll be honest with you, the more that I've been typing so that I can learn all the typing things um, that impact you, uh, I'm liking typing more. This is actually a very nice device to type on from what I'm finding. Uh, some people don't think so. That's why I'm doing this video because I want to try to address what I think are the reasons that people have problems typing on this device. So take a watch. Hopefully you learned something. This is very short in the what you're going to actually learn. Uh, there are other swift key things that I'm going to teach you, but uh, let's take a look. Some people have problems typing on the Microsoft Surface Duo 2. They'll point to this being a problem with the software. Now, I am not one of those people, and what I want to do is take a look at why that might be so. Now, one of the reasons is because humans are hard at adapting to change. And in the case of typing here, they'll say that, well, I can do it on one device this way. I should be able to do it on this device this way. So what we need to do is look at the reasons why that is not so. We need to look at the differences in the two devices first. And as you can see here, the width of this Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus is narrower than the um, Duo, and this device is approximately the same size as most of our handheld devices that we have today. So width is going to play a major uh, factor in your typing experience. It will be harder. The next thing that we'll take a look at is that, of course, in an open mode, you've got an even bigger difference. So these two things impact tremendously your uh, typing Experience. So let's put the duo into single hand mode and see how things look. What we'll do is I'll open up the uh, same application that you saw me typing into in the intro. That's one note and a little typing demo that I've been working on. I, and I'll get the keyboard up and you can see what we have here. Keyboards in thumb mode. And then I'll open up the same app with keyboard on the uh, Galaxy S10 Plus. And let me switch this to, th uh, excuse me, to full mode so that you can see the comparison. And as you can see, the width of the keyboard on the Duo is considerably wider. This will impact your typing experience. You have to reach, your keys are gonna be in different places. Okay, so we've got several differences that make it harder to type. The device is wider and the keyboard's wider. Now we can't change the width of the device. That's fixed, nothing we can do about it. Well, what can we do? Well, one of the things that we can do is change the width of the keyboard and try to bring the keyboard more in alignment with your current keyboard that you're using. And we can do that by resizing the uh, keyboard. So how do we go about resizing the keyboard, okay? We will look at how you do that. So what I want you to do is take a look right here. This is your predictive line. And just uh, to the left of it, you're going to see that up and down uh, carrot. And then you will touch that to expand or open the quick settings option in SwiftKey. And those quick settings are the items that are to the left of the pen. Uh, they go across that row there, and as you can see, the only one we're going to be concerned about right now is in the center, the keyboard with the gear icon. Let's touch that. So what we have done is switched into the keyboard modes, and you can see we're currently in the uh, full keyboard, and this is how your keyboard is most likely set up right now. That is the default setting for keyboards, and you can see that we uh, have a 
very wide and rather tall keyboard. That's the way that I like it. But let's take a look at some of the other modes just uh, while we're here. One is called the um, one hand mode. And this is when you hold the device in one hand and you want your thumb to be able to easily reach all the keys. This was the left hand mode. Uh, and then I'm going to switch it to the right hand thumb mode. So you have the little uh, arrow keys on the left and right. And then we have the floating mode, which I have no found no use for. And then the mode that I prefer to use, which is the thumb mode. And this makes it much easier to use uh, two thumbs in typing. Uh, and is my preferred method when I am typing now. I found this does make typing smoother on the um, keyboard but let's switch back to okay now we're back in full keyboard mode let's change the size so we need to resize it you see the resize option there all you do is select that and this will give us the ability to change height and width and you can see the blue box and some handles we can drag up and down to control the height and how high we make it really what you might want to do is take your old device Get the keyboard open and look and see what is the approximate uh, height of the keyboard. Changing the width is a little more tricky, but you grab that handle and you pull it to the left. And you can go as small as you want. In fact, look how small we can make this keyboard. Don't advise trying to type this way, but hey, do it how you want. I like it wide and I like it tall, but you make them as wide and tall as you like it. I will set my keyboard back to thumb mode. This is my preferred method. And if you're going to hold the device with two hands, I suggest you give this a try. You will find it a lot easier to type this way. Okay, I hope you found that helpful. Uh, it's just a quick thing on how to change the size of the keyboard and the orientation and type of keyboard. Uh, those are things that really are the impacting factors of typing. So if you liked it, found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. Uh, let other people know about it. Uh, maybe someone else can uh, get more comfortable with typing. And so share it. And uh, lastly, subscribe and comment. Let me know what you thought. What did I miss on this little portion of of the keyboard and what would you like to see either about typing about the keyboard keyboards or any other topic thanks again